We're only a few days away from one of the biggest shopping days of the year, but you can avoid having to break open your piggy bank by using these simple steps. Steve, thank you so much for joining me on Great Day KC. You are a certified financial educator, a financial expert. You have the number one financial selling book from 2020, How Money Works. What are some tips you can give shoppers going into this holiday season so they're not breaking the bank? Well, I think the first thing is keep your emotions in check. Make sure you make a list of the gifts that you're going to purchase and don't allow Madison Avenue advertisers to manipulate your emotions and get you all pumped up to buy things that you really can't afford. Sure, so just thinking of the emotions, why is it important for us to just stay true to ourselves when it comes to what we have in our checking our savings account? Exactly, I mean, no one wants to start the first of the year with uh, bills they can't afford at interest rates that are outrageous, you know, 17, 18, 20% interest rates on some credit cards. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it really adds up and it, it's, it starts the year off the wrong way. And no one that you're buying gifts for wants you to go into debt over things that, you know, that they probably don't even need for that matter. Mm -hmm. And so it really just doesn't make any sense. Sure. So absolutely when should people pull out the credit card because obviously that is a, a quick way when you think about it i'll just pay it off later but it adds up and sometimes people find themselves getting into a lot of trouble like you said at the beginning of the year because they have that mindset i'll just pay it back later exactly and pulling out a credit card is, is is so easy because you know you give them the credit card and they give it back to you and you think well i've really lost nothing mm -hmm. as you know as opposed to pulling out cash where you pull it out, you give it to them, and then you don't get anything back. <laughs> Maybe mm -hmm. some change mm -hmm. if you're lucky. And that's mm -hmm. about it. So use cash. I mean, that's just a great overall idea. Uh, you know, allow so much for cash for gifts. And when the cash is gone, the gift shopping is done. Sure, sure. So, of course, how can this become a teachable moment for those kids who, you know, they may be hoping mommy and daddy gives them all everything or excuse me Santa Claus gives them everything on their Christmas list this year right so how can parents make this a teachable moment if you know their child is like where is this gift that I asked for I, I think it's it's fantastic for kids to, to really get a glimpse of the real world mm -hmm. that that we all live in and they're about to inhabit and uh, and that's by saying, you know, there's so, there's only so much we can, we can do based on our resources. And Santa Claus has the same problem. He's by he's getting making gifts for everyone in the world, which is a lot of people, and so, over seven billion people. So that's a lot on a list. So you know, so there's only so many resources that everyone has, including Santa Claus, uh, to to allocate. And this is what we have to do to make sure that we're that we're uh, fiscally responsible citizens. Thanks for joining us this morning. We hope to see you again tomorrow. Fox 4 News at noon is